The next talk will be highly economized multi-view binary compression for scalable image clustering. The authors are Zhang Zhang, Li Liu, Ji Qin, Fan Zhu, Fu Min Shen, Yong Shu, Ling Xiao, and Heng Tao Shen. And Zhang Zhang will give the talk. Hi, everyone. Good afternoon. Um, I'm very pleased to share our work entitled Highly Economized Binary Compression for Scalable Image Clustering. So I will introduce my work from the following five perspectives. For the ultimate goal of our work is how to economize cluster image, light school images. And uh, the main aim of image clustering is to design and uh, to find the interpretational, interpre inter interpretable uh, relationships of the structure of the image and then so as to um, cluster or divide input images to different, different subsites. So image clustering is the very commonly used analytical technique for uh, computer vision applications. So there are a lot of applications related to image clustering, such as image segmentation, information retrieval, and uh, social network analysis. So there is a, um, a, the main aim of our work is to how to economize to cluster multiple data. Some of you may uh, don't know what is the multiple data. Actually, nowadays we uh, can access multiple data from um, Protected from diverse sources, it's very common. Images can describe the different uh, can do, do, uh, can be described the different uh, views and using different features. And the red part we can we'll give you another more, another example from Wikipedia. You can describe subject from the text description or image description, also your different language to describe the same thing. So multiple data is very common in our daily life. So. There are three very different, very important factors in uh, multiple image clustering. So, if you use different features, you may have different uh, directly influence the follow uh, the final image cluster results or performance. And the similarity of measurements, you use different similarity uh, metrics to measure the similarities uh, and the distance from image. So, it's very important for multiple image clustering. And when it comes to algorithm, we must concern about uh, the performance, cluster quality, uh, how about the time or memory complexity. So existing multi-image clustering have two steps, uh, generally have two steps. The first step is using the, uh, the learning algorithm to learn a common structure, such as um, graph structure, subset structure, and uh, common representation, and then divide the learned uh, representation to, to partition data. And the single view image cluster algorithm also can use the two uh, multiple image clustering uh, applications. You cluster on each single view or just the contempt features. So there are lots of limitations of existing uh, multiple image cluster algorithm. For example, some algorithms cannot use the complementary properties, properties of multiple because the multiple data can be uh, is to describe the same subject from different perspectives and different aspects. So they have a complementary property. Some algorithms cannot uh, uh, can, uh, learn the common representation on the class structure in two separate way. The two uh, two separate uh, two phase learning for. Uh, uh, strategy is suboptimal. So, until now, as we know, the most of, almost, almost the most of um, the existing multiple image clustering are real value ones. So, they have two main bottom checks is the heavy computing complexity and the large memory overhead, uh, footprint cost. All. And uh, they cannot be scalable to big data and because the complexity is very high. So the, more, m the main motivation of our work is how to economize the uh, cluster big data and uh, reduce the computing complexity and save the memory overhead. The straightforward solution is to use the binary code because the binary code can provide two fundamental priorities. The first one is uh, m just uh, using much lower computational complexity by, uh, to compute the distance. And the second one is uh, if you uh, use one GB real, real, real value points, it just, uh, we call that to bandicoot, it's just uh, 
uh, uh, 16 MB. So the, the memory overhead is uh, largely reduced. So we have the general learning framework of uh, common representation learning and the district cross structure learning. So generally, we project the multi-view data to um, a common hemispace use, uh, for multi-view binary comparison. At the same time, the complementary properties of different views are used in uh, learning uh, common binary codes. At the same time, we uh, we learn the discrete, discrete class structure in the very efficient Hamming space. Generally, for Hamming binary, uh, common binary code learning, uh, we know that uh, multiple view data uh, tries to describe the same subject from different perspectives. That means that while well, our project metrics should be contain, um, uh, capture the similarity or share the information. At the same time, uh, we should, uh, the project mapping always uh, also should be capture the individual information to distinguish different view, different uh, differences uh, between different views. So we give the uh, common by, uh, common representation code learning uh, representation learning framework like this, um, and then there is a alpha is a vector to weight different view weight the uh, importance of different views. You know that we directly combine, uh, compress the uh, real value feature to a ba lower ban uh, binary feature. You must lose something. So you, want, you should try your best to maximize each information in each bit. So we add uh, in infos of a max entropy principle here to try our, try our best to reduce the redundancy at the same time make the learning bandwidth balanced. And uh, moreover, we have a um, robust discrete cost structure learning. There, we, we directly decompose the learned binary codes into uh, uh, cluster, cluster thin choice metrics and cluster indicator metrics. At, uh, similarly, the learned uh, cluster thin choice are always binary as well. So we add a new balance constraint here. We use L21 norm loss function here to uh, preserve the uh, rotation invariance of each feature, and at the same time, uh, the L21 norm can prevent auto layers in uh, learned band code. So, to preserve the interconnection between the common band code learning and the discrete cluster structure learning, we join we join to learn the two parts and incorporate them to into one unified learning framework. Moreover, we use the nightly anchor feature here to amplify the representation. Uh, representing capabilities of the original feature. You know that the ob object function here have three uh, discrete constraints here, the B, P, uh, B Q, and F. It's, this problem is very difficult because it's an hard problem. So here we develop an alternating optimization algorithm here. The Q step, you can add, uh, um, you see the very effective addictive discrete proximal linear algorithm here. It's, this, uh, can be used to other uh, discrete optimization problems. And F12, uh, uh, the, fifth, the fifth step of F step, the, we can see that the distance, be, uh, distance computation between the uh, cluster and choice and the uh, cost feature, uh, the data feature can be used, uh, can be computed in the Hamming space. Now, alpha, alpha, the weighting uh, strategy is adaptively determined. So our algorithm can be easily extended to uh, auto sample problem, incomplete view and multi view. It's uh, both of them are okay. And we go. Uh, we also gave a um, theorem to demonstrate the convergence of our proposed optimal algorithm here. And um, our learning algorithm can efficiently converge to a local optimal point. Here we give four big. Uh, Big light scale data to demonstrate our effectiveness of the proposed method. And uh, notably, the AOSY data sets have five, uh, five views. Each view has about um, 200,000 200, features, so totally have one, uh, approximately to one million features. We have four met event metrics to show the effectiveness. So, Results for image, uh, may not turn, you have 10 classes, uh, we can see that the way our, our algorithm can achieve competitive single view cluster results, but the best multi view cluster results. My time cost here, our algorithm can be, can speed up k algorithm about 40 times. 
So everyone you, every of you may think, why the binary code is better than real value one? We give three reasons. The first one, effective, effective discrete optimization. Effective discrete optimization can reduce the redundancy and eliminate some noise in the learned binary codes. And on the um, red part, we can see that some similar structures in each cluster can be enhanced in the binary code. And uh, some variance and disturbance uh, can be eliminated as well. And binary features, the second one, the binary features. The binary features, we know, we know that we use the binary quantization strategy can minimize, can eliminate some variance uh, in the local change. And uh, we, uh, a third one, we, our framework is the joint learning framework. We can interactively enhance the counterpart of uh, learned binary codes and uh, uh, class structure. Result SIP10 and uh, UTB phase, we, they simulate we can achieve the best multiple cluster results. And that's why. So most of our can uh, focus on how about the time cost and the memory footprints. We know that, uh, we can see that on UTB phase, they said our algorithm can about uh, cluster about 600, six six hundred, uh, image on 100, uh, 130 seconds. Our algorithm can cluster one million features, like, uh, like on US wide, uh, uh, we only use 81 seconds. It's very efficient. And uh, memory free points, our algorithm can reduce the, the uh, memory costs about uh, 950 uh, times. So TSN evaluates on uh, C10, YouTube phase. OS wide, and also I have the empirical uh, analysis on our algorithm. We have code lens, different code lens. Uh, with, the code, with the increase in the code lens, our algorithm can have a better clustering performance. We also examined the, evaluate the effect of cluster number. It, it seems that uh, our algorithm can correctly predict the number of cluster. So in this paper, we propose a pairing work on large scale multiple image clustering. We use binary codes to minimize the computing complexity and the memory overhead. A joint learning framework is done and the alternating discrete optimization is developed. In the future, we, will, we may use the collective binary code learning framework to other problems. So IAI is the internet, first cloud international AI institute in UIG. We have the boot on the second floor. If you interest our work, interest our research, uh, our institute, you could go to the booth. Uh, we have leaders over there. You can consult them. Thank you very much. Great. Please come up to the mics for questions. I'll ask a question in the meantime. So how do you set the number of clusters in your approach? Okay. How do you set the number of clusters? The number of clusters, yeah. Uh, for different, uh, like safe term, you have 10 classes. Uh, US wide, you have 80, 89. But we also evaluate the number of clusters, how the influence to our algorithm here. Um, so. Our algorithm can predict the right number of clusters here. So it's really effective. It's a simple but very effective to large scale image clustering. Not, uh, not only in single view, multiple is very good. I'll ask another one. So clustering is fundamentally an ill defined problem because we don't know at what level. Uh, the right clustering resides. So does your approach say something about this? Can you perform hierarchical clustering, for example? I'm sorry? The, the, you mean? Hierarchical clustering? The number of clustering going higher? higher? Mm, you, to, you, you mean the complexity uh, will be increased? Uh, it's OK. We can take it offline. The number of clusters may greatly influence the complexity. Mm -hmm. If you, you know, I guess, uh, with this set has more than 100 clusters, the 
complexity will be polynomially increased. Very nice. Let's thank the speaker again. Thank you.